Y'all already know how I feel about that song, okay? I mean, I mean, the whole album is off the hook, by the way. <laughs> You're going to have to go ahead and step into Michael Bradley and Worship. Go ahead and get you to download, go to iTunes, stream it, do all those things, put it on Spotify. Bring this album back. He is amazing. I'm so sad that I couldn't get him to Texas, but time is not going away from us just yet, so I still got time. Uh, he is so anointed. Yes, I love him. So shout out, Michael. Hey, Michael. <laughs> What's up, Mike Brad? Okay, I love him. And that song, it takes me out. It, it takes me out actually all the time because, you know, we've been going over this 30 day How I Faithed Over Challenge and we've been talking about being fervent, being an individual who loves God but, but loves him zealously, right? That has, that you're full of zeal, that you're on fire for God. We've been talking about paying attention, paying attention to your surroundings, pay attention, paying attention to uh, maybe obstacles that God puts in front of you so that you can learn from them, right? We, <laughs> everything that we, we go through should give us some type of blessing, whether it's just a blessing. It could just be something that's blessing you, but still a lesson nonetheless. And here we are in week number three, talking about intimacy. Intimacy, how are you doing this week? How are you doing? We're at day number 18. We are literally almost at week number four of this challenge. I cannot believe it. But how are you doing with that? How Are you shedding some of those pounds? Are you shedding some of that trauma? Are you shedding some of that pain? Are you shedding some of that disappointment? Are you shedding some of that hurt? And are you giving it to the rightful owner, the father who created you? That hit me. When I learned this, when God gave it to me and he began to show me how to be a faith stalker. He said, one of the things that I need for you to do, yes, I love the fact that you read your word. I can quote you scripture all week, okay? Got a, got a whole book, okay? That I can I can go ahead and open up, this, uh, open up the Bible and quote scripture to you, but what about the relationship? And I was like, well, I, I'm a little confused, God, because <laughs> we learned about relationship from reading the book. He said, so now that you know it, where is it? Where's our relationship? And I was like, I actually thought we had a good relationship. You know, when I sing praise and worship, people are worshiping and praising. <laughs> when you send me out to minister, when I have to preach or when I have to speak or when I'm counseling, all these things, people are seeing that you're awesome, God. And he said, but what are you talking to me about? And I was like, oh, well, I talk to you all the time. We pray. I we pray. You know, we pray. <laughs> I thought I was praying, and he said, "You're not praying the way you're supposed to be praying." And then you knew, reading the Bible, which is supposed to say, "Our Father," or in heaven, I would. Yeah, okay, that's not how he's talking about our Father. He's not talking about that prayer. He's talking about the layered prayer. He's talking about getting to the heart of the matter, literally, literally getting to the heart of the matter and I was a little uh I don't know that I was offended because God can't offend you it was maybe maybe he can offend you but he didn't offend me but I think I was a little hurt because I thought I had it going on okay here I am a minister of music you know with my big brother my big sister I'm doing all these things and now you're telling me that all this time that I've been standing in front of these people that I too needed to improve my level of intimacy. And so I start letting my guard down even more. And I'm telling you guys, this, this was years, this was years. Um, it hit me like right in 2016 before we took this big old faith walk. Cause he said, I'm going to require some more things from you. And I was like, what, what, what more do I have to, I have to give in you in my life, God? Don't you tell him I said that, okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, God. But I was just like, you need more? <laughs> what? What more? Do you need? That's how I felt. I felt like that. I felt like, what more do you need? And he was like, I need all of you. You want me to give you all of me. 
but you won't give me all of you. He said, that's kind of lopsided. And I believe that this is how God is talking to me because, you know, God speaks to you differently. You know, however he's talking to you, I'm just going to keep it real. This is how he came to me. He said, you asking me for, you want me to move the heavens, the earth? You need some miracles, you know, not only financial, okay, because there are some financial miracles that, that I've asked for. Not just that, but you want me to do this over here in this sector and this over here in this sector. And when you want to do all those things, but you can't give me all of you. And I was like, okay, I think you have a point. You have a point. And I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb. And I'm going to go ahead and trust you on this guy. And I'm going to start getting intimate. And let me tell you something. The conversations, and y'all know me. If y'all know me, know me. You know I like to talk, so judge somebody else. But God likes listening to me talk, okay? He never gets tired. Well, maybe he does get tired. But since time is not up there, he's probably like, Gabriel, is she still talking? Oh, my goodness, please. Get, Holy Spirit, just give her some answers, please. <laughs> Jesus, are you? Where's, where's Jesus? Jesus, help, help your sister. <laughs> She's still going. But I have logaria now of the mouth, right? I cannot stop telling him everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. I want him to know everything. And I keep repeating myself every day until you understand that this is what we need to do as believers. We're talking about seeing miracles happen. We're talking about reproducing the book of Acts. And we're talking about having all these signs, wonders, and all of those things to happen in this earth, we will never get there if we are not intimate with the Father. We just won't. You don't have a relationship with Him. Every relationship requires intimacy. Without intimacy, there is no relationship. That is the difference between our Father. Woo! That we can have a legit relationship with a living God hey oh I'm sorry he rose Jesus rose on the third day we are not serving a God that is not able to have a relationship with us you get the unction of the Holy Spirit that's a part of that relationship you're speaking in tongues you enter into the holies of holies that's a that's a direct reflection of the type of relationship you have now some of y'all out here thinking now I'm not talking to y'all yeah I keep it real all the time but we serve a mighty mighty good God a mighty good God and he deserves to have all of us so again sir ma'am what have you given to God what have you given to him? Is he really mighty? Help me say. Is he? He mighty. I see you guys. Oh, you're mighty God. Day 19 is tomorrow. Mighty God. Oh.